Operations class will get you all the needed knowledge and hands-on to perform pretty much any rope rescue that you may run into. And day one is all about learning the equipment, the rope specifications, and why you use certain uh, material over uh, other materials. Afternoon is learning about how tying knots, how tying properly. And the second day is learning your own personal skills from repelling to line transfers. And then we move into day three, all about mechanical advantage. So you can learn everything you need to know about what systems you build and how you build it and you can verify it. And then you can actually go down and pull somebody off one rope and put them onto your system and bring them down to the ground and raise them up. And then our last day is bringing it all together. We do a belay test in the morning so you actually learn how to belay somebody. And in the afternoon, we do patient packaging, with either a Stokes, a Sked, and that way we can put patients in there, add an attendant if we need to, and raise lower. And that way everybody gets the knowledge they need to successfully do a rope rescue. Between operations and technician class, you learn the, the basics in operation, and then when you move to the technicians, we kind of put you more into the scenario and let you run with it. So we'll say the person's over the cliff, and you should have the basic knowledge already of how to build anchoring systems and decide if it's going to be a raise or a lower, and we let you take that and learn from it, and then we're there as a backup safety. The other thing, we bring in more uh, anchoring systems. We bring in picket systems, and we also will bring in a high line on the final day for uh, an evolution there. I think the, the best benefit of taking both, operations definitely gives you your fundamentals, and the technician just gets you to that next level where we're kind of putting the trust in you to start running the systems, being the command, being the safety, and kind of getting to put the whole system together. We give you a little bit more of elevation sometimes, and we may give you a different scenario that you may not have run into in operations where you were learning it. This time you're actually performing it with the technician. And I think Crash Course, with our four days we set up for operations and four days we set up for technician, just gives you a, a great amount of hands-on training. We do two different operation, or operations technician class. We offer one down at Hocking Hills, which we've been able to work with the parks. We've been able to work with EMS. And the thing about out here is you're trusting your anchors a lot more than if I went to an industrial area where it's uh, maybe like a concrete block or a steel beam. Out here I have to learn where I'm going to anchor, how I'm going to anchor, and a lot of times we don't have a uh, railing or anything to work over. We have just an edge that we may fall off of. And Hocking Hills has been known for a lot of injuries and rope rescues, and it's a great environment to train on. The uh, area in the urban area, also good because that's what most firefighters in the central area are going to respond to. You may have a window washer stuck, a painter stuck, or somebody down in an area that you need to get to and retrieve them and bring them up.